Hello everyone, you're very welcome to the first of the careers Q&A for the From Fall to Race TY programme. Today our guest is Anne Channon and she is the Education Development Manager at the Irish National Stud. Anne is responsible for developing thoroughbred educational programmes and promoting equine education and safe practices in the thoroughbred industry. Anne manages the Irish National Stud Thoroughbred Breeding Management course which has produced many of the world's leading thoroughbred experts. So Anne, you're very welcome and thanks a million for joining us. Thanks Amy, delighted to be here. So we might just uh, get started. I know I had sent out a, a little form to your teachers, so any pupils who submitted questions, thanks very much for that. That'll help us to guide the Q&A at the end. But before we get to that, I have a few questions uh, of my own for Anne. So Anne, can you tell us a little bit more about your pathway into your career in particular, so your story of your career. Okay, I suppose I was fortunate enough to have been brought up, you know, in a family that were surrounded by horses and greyhounds and all kinds of animals. And it just instilled in me, you know, a love for the horse. And I suppose it wasn't until my teenage years that I got interested in the actual thoroughbred and horse racing. And I suppose a family friend was involved in training race horses. So I used to go at the weekends and my school holidays, help out in the yard, ride out. And I just got a passion for the industry then and really knew I wanted to be involved in some way. Um, I suppose I was fortunate enough, I had the opportunity to, you know, work at the weekends and holidays while still going on to college. And I went into the law side when I went to college and that was the area I went to, but I still had the love for the horse and just decided, no, I want to go back out into the industry. And I suppose I've worked in various aspects of the industry over the years and each area I've worked in, I've really, really enjoyed it. Perfect. Thanks, Anne. Uh, so you might tell us a little bit more about the Irish National Stud in general, considering that's where you're based now. So um, just from looking at the website, even if any of the pupils had checked that out, they would have learned that the National Stud, it provides visitors with knowledge and the understanding of the unique story of the Irish thoroughbred. So perhaps if you could tell us a little bit more about the stud itself and the Irish thoroughbred. Of course, Amy. And um, the Irish National Stud, um, we've been here many years now, but our main um, business model is we breed the thoroughbreds. So we breed the, the uh, racehorses here on the stud farm. We would have eight stallions of our own, which are very busy at the moment covering our mares. And we also do a lot of foaling here on site. Um, and we generally foal approximately 350 foals each year. Um, it's a working stud farm, but it's also one of the only stud farms in Ireland that is open to the public. So we allow visitors to come into the stud farm each year and um, get up close and, you know, right up close to these animals and see how a working farm actually operates. And it's wonderful to see the visitors coming in and let, you know, to watch them interacting with the horses so they can go up to the paddocks and pet the foals, give the foals a lovely scratch if they want it. And this time of the year is just so special when you go out to those fields and you see the, you know, the foals playing around and you know, enjoying themselves out there. It's, it's wonderful to see. But at the end of the day, we are, you know, a business and we are operating a very busy stud farm. I actually, got I the, sorry, I got the opportunity to visit the, the stud. I think it was just before the foaling season last year. And it was amazing. Got to, to meet some of the, you know, the heroes in racing and um, yes. some of the individual very, very famous horses. So it was a, a really great experience. Yes, we do. We have five um, famous horses here on site. I suppose they're retired from their career in racing and they've come here to live the remainder of their lives in luxury. We treat them as kings here. So they're out in the paddocks each day enjoying, you know, grazing around and they love interacting with the visitors and getting a few carrots. But it's lovely to see that there is, you know, after the racing career that they are well cared for and they live, they're going to live out the rest of their lives here as kings as i said <laughs> as kings very good that's that's exactly the impression that we got when we we're out there all right um 
So, and you manage the Irish National Stud Thoroughbred Breeding Management course. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about that and perhaps what a person might need in advance of starting something like that? Um, yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's one, I suppose our Thoroughbred Breeding Management course is our, you know, most renowned course that we run here at the Irish National Stud. And it's been in existence since 1971. And I suppose to date we have over 14 hundred uh, graduates from 32 countries around the globe and a lot of our graduates are out working in the industry and have some high positions within the industry and um, each year from several hundred applications we select approximately 27 students to come here to the Irish National Stud for six months and I suppose it's very unique in that the students get the opportunity to work very much hands-on so they're actually rotating around the different you know yards on the stud farm so they could be working and doing on the job training in with our stallions in our foaling unit working with our mares and foals and they do that you know throughout the day it's very much practical hands-on learning and then in the afternoons they come into us for lectures and um, we cover modules such as equine anatomy physiology equine business equine breeding and stable management and they also get the opportunity you know to have lectures guest visits in from those people who are very influential in the industry um, the course has been recognized and accredited since um, 2019 so we are now accredited by SETU and it was great to see that you know the course has been accredited now and it gives our students the opportunity to travel with a, a recognised qualification. That's brilliant. Congratulations to you all. I'm sure that wasn't a, an easy feat. Um, does the person have to have equine science as an undergrad under their belt before entering or what are the entry requirements? No, we have a diverse range of students here. Um, the minimum uh, requirements is that the person has at least five passes in their leaving search and has an interest in the industry. Um, and I suppose it does help if you have some knowledge of the industry behind you coming in. But we have students that come to us with no practical experience and have not, you know, have much knowledge of the industry. So we have a broad range of students. Um, I suppose half of our students are Irish and the other half of the students are international students. So this year we have students from Australia, New Zealand, the US of A, France and South Africa. And I suppose one of the unique and nice parts of the course is that they get to network and make connections with people all over the world. And there's lots of opportunities for our students to travel after graduation. Brilliant. Um, that's really useful information to know. And I'm sure students in the classroom will also agree with that. And teachers as well to have a little bit more information about the opportunities for further study. Um, also in your in your bio and uh, bits and pieces of information that students might be aware of, um, the Irish School of Farriery. So could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so I spent several years managing the Irish School of Farriery and it's uh, something I have a great interest in. Um, I suppose lots of my family are involved in Farriery as well. So the school is based on the race campus in Kildare Town and it is a school which, with the aim of, you know, educating farriers to a high standard. I suppose a farrier is somebody who is, you know, very much involved in the welfare and care of the horse. And they, they play a very important role in their welfare. And the school is there, you know, to teach young apprentices. Um, I suppose it's built up into blocks. So most of the time, the apprentice farriers are out working with their employer and learning on the job. And then they go into the school and they do blocks of off the job training where they cover several modules, which could be horseshoeing, you know, equine anatomy, physiology and welfare. And uh, it's a four year apprenticeship. And, you know, as there's a saying out there that no foot, no horse. And it's very much true because a farrier, you know, has to go in and look after the horse's feet and without a good foot, the horse won't be able to run. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm sure some of the pupils will have learned about that in the From Fold to Race program. There is a, a focus on farriers and the role of the farrier 
being a very, very important one. Um, my next question, Anne, is what has been your favourite part of your career so far? You have so much to choose from. God, I, I, as I've been in this industry for many years and in different areas of it, you know, from racing yards to breeding to the education side of things. And each day, I suppose, has been a highlight. Um, there's nothing better than going out and seeing a foal being born, you know, watch the foal develop and then following its racing career with the dream of maybe going out there one day and winning a classic race. Um, but I suppose my favorite role is where I am at the moment, you know, working with young people, working with the next, you know, generation for the industry and hoping that I can inspire them and mentor them, you know, to find a career within the industry. And there's so many roles within this industry. It's not just practical, you know, based out working in the yards. I mean, we have, if I look at our own stud farm here, we have people who are out in the yards taking care of the animals. We have, you know, vets that come in to work with us, our farriers. We have people who work in the office, you know, um, we have finance departments, we have, you know, legal departments, um, HR departments. So there's so many roles within this industry. So it's lovely to see the young people coming in and finding, you know, their feet within this industry. Definitely. And that's a, another key objective of the From Bold Race program, which is to just introduce people to the, the vibrant industry and the various careers along the way, you know, along that from bowl to race story. So this fits in really well. Um, and also just to mention to the people at home uh, to check out Equip's website as well. So they yeah. are um, very much involved in, in similar things, introducing people to the industry, the available careers, the training. Um, so just to check out Equip if you haven't already. Definitely. It's a great website to go to, you know, if you're wanting to start a career in the industry, go to that website. And there's so many helpful pieces on that that will direct you in the right direction. Lovely. So um, the last question that I have, and I have a few questions from pupils at home. So the first one for you is, do you have any advice for young people considering a career in the racing industry? Oh, definitely. I mean, this, as I mentioned earlier, there's so many career paths within the industry um, and it's, it's, you know, there's something there for everybody. It's very vibrant industry at the moment and there's lots of opportunity if you want to travel as well. But my advice is, you know, go out there and um, experience it. Go to a stud farm, go to a race course, go to a racing yard and just see what it's like. Talk to people within the industry. You know, some people say to me that you have to be born in, in the industry to progress within it. And I think that's, you know, I, I don't agree with that. I think if you're willing to learn, there are so many people within the industry that are willing to teach you. It's a very inclusive industry and we're always welcome to taking young people in and guiding them and, you know, getting them a step within it. Super. So we might start on some of the questions from the people in the classroom. So you've touched maybe a little bit on some of these, but we'll, we'll ask them anyway. So okay. and when did you start working with horses? I started my, uh, we, we always had ponies and animals at home, I suppose, growing up and always went show jumping at the weekends. But then I just, a friend, a family friend was a horse trainer. So I just got, you know, involved with the, with the racing side of things. And uh, once I got in there, I never gave up with, in the industry. It's, I just got the bug. It's a bug that people get and they can never, you know, get rid of it. Um, but it was in my teenage years, but I still kept my studies going. I was fortunate that I was able to do that, you know, to work at weekends and school holidays while still, you know, going to school, going to college, which I thought was very important for me, the way, the route I was going. But yeah, in my teenage years, and I'm still here many years on. That shows the passion and the love. Uh, just actually one thing that I was, I was thinking of as we were chatting there. Um, are there opportunities to volunteer at the Irish National Stud? Say if you were someone who was 16 years old and they wanted to learn a little bit more, do you offer any TY work experience or volunteer opportunity? We were involved with Together for Racing International. Um, that was a group of industry stakeholders. And we did have a, a pilot program that we, you know, we opened up to people that were 
um, in secondary school. We haven't gone forward with that this year, but it's something that we're looking at, you know, going forward. But there are many places uh, within the area that will, you know, allow students to come in, um, young people to come in and just to, you know, experience the industry. Yeah, and that's the thing, isn't it? It is really an experience. There's so much going on, uh, so many Definitely. different things going on. So it really is a full experience. Definitely. Yeah, the second question from a, a pupil is, what is your favorite part about working in the horse racing industry? Oh God, I suppose it's just such a vibrant industry. There's all, every day is different. There's always something going on from seeing a newborn foal being born um, following its career, going racing to see that horse run. Um, you know, if I'm having, you know, not a tough day that I can go out and just pet a horse, it might seem a small thing, but it's a big thing to me to be able to go out and work with those horses and touch them and be with them. Um, but there's so many areas in this that excite me. Um, and it's just the love of the animal, really. Yeah, I think that that makes sense. And I'd say a lot of people would say the same, just love a horse is that's the most important thing. Yeah, right. Now there's two parts to this next question. We'll we'll maybe take them one at a time. So okay. what do you see um as the most challenging part of working in the horse racing industry? Oh, I suppose some days, especially it's the weather at times, um, some days it's wet, it's miserable. You could be tired. You don't want to be out there, you know, in those elements. Um, but I think the good parts outweigh the, the bad parts. Um, as you know, this it's it's just a wonderful thing to go out there each day, be out in the you know the open air, the open environment, and get up close to these fantastic animals. I mean, they're athletes at the end of the day, and they're just a fascinating animal to be with. So I think the good parts really outshine. The challenging parts of it. the second part of that question was actually about the most rewarding parts and I think that's a good way to describe you know the good parts of the industry being very rewarding you know personally and obviously there are successes that come with being part of the industry as well yeah the, it's, it's you know it's, it's just a lovely industry to be involved with all my family have been involved with the industry and it's been very good to me over the years and I just love seeing new people coming into it we need new people coming into it all the time in order to sustain it. And, uh, you know, I think anyone who, you know, decides to even experience the industry will love it and will find a, a really rewarding, you know, lifestyle out of it. Definitely. Um, that, that's kind of all the formal questions that I, I have for you, Anne. But right. um, is there maybe one particular piece of advice or take home advice you'd like to give to maybe TY students relating to the industry or how they might get involved? Yeah, well, first of all, we have an exhibition here at the Irish National Stud. So if people just want to come along and just to learn about the industry, they can come along and experience it. It's the Irish Racehorse Experience and the students can come along and it's very much interactive. So they come along, it's played like a game. They learn all about the horse from foal straight through its career. You get the opportunity to virtually buy a racehorse at Goffs. You get to experience the Goffs um, sales complex while you're here. You get to look at the training, you know, get involved in the training, learn about the horse as an athlete. You get to pick your jockey and then you go on. And at the end, there's a fun surprise at the end where you get to ride your virtual racehorse um, as if you're riding in a race at Nays Racecourse. So it's a good introduction to the industry if people want to come along and learn that way. Um, you know, I'm always available if anybody wants, wants to reach out to me for some advice, some career advice. I work with a lot of young people, you know, helping them to find, you know, the right area for them to enter the industry or, you know, maybe direct them to somewhere who can help them a little bit more. So there's lots of people in the industry who are willing to help out. It's just a matter of coming to us and asking for that help. As I said, it's a very inclusive industry and we're, we welcome anybody who wants to learn about it. Brilliant, that's a, a lovely note to leave on Anne. So we might finish up there and to all of you who are watching, thank you so much. And Anne, thanks so much to you for giving us your time. We really appreciate it. And you've given thanks us a really good 
overview and an outline of where to go for different information um, and to really attract people into the industry. So thank you. Lovely. Thanks, Amy. It was a pleasure. Bye, everyone. We will see you next time for the next Careers Q&A.